is Martin Chuck and I'm at the Strawberry Farms Golf Club in Irvine, California. And I wanted to do a tip today about shanking the ball and what causes the hosel of the golf club to run into the golf ball. There's a few simple things and this drill is going to help you understand the shank and how to fix it. So I'm creating a channel here and you can take this channel, basically two aim sticks parallel to one another, and we're going to hit a golf ball within that channel. So pretty simple so far. But I want you to take a third aim stick in the golf club that you want to use, and in this case I have a 7 iron. And I want you to take that 7 iron and put this third aim stick in basically parallel to the shaft's lie angle. So I've got this condition now that's going to help me understand where to deliver the golf club on the way down. Because a lot of people that shank it typically have a club that gets outside the line and then works across the line and sometimes the club head doesn't cross in time to get the hosel out of the way and you have a hosel strike while the club's crossing the line and from there you can get you know some kind of a pull or a slice shot now on the rare occasion some players will have a path that comes too much from the inside with a club head crossing this target line channel too much inside out but that's not the case most of the time so here's what I want you to be aware of. Put this third aim stick in and get it so that you can't accidentally hit your hands on it and skin a knuckle. We don't want that. But if you do suffer from shanks, this little drill, starting off slow, get nice and parallel to everything here. And what you want to feel is this club that it can come back in underneath this third stick. And if it catches on the other on top of it, worst case, you'll bounce off the stick and miss the golf ball. So we want to feel like we're playing that old game operation for those of you old enough to know what I'm talking about and that we don't want to touch any of these sticks in this little configuration I've got set up. So if you can get this club to work underneath the, this white aim stick on the lie angle of the 7 iron and between these two right here, very little chance of shanking the golf ball. Now, when we do see a shank, you know, there's a few things that can happen. Clearly, you can lose your balance. If you lose your balance to the toe, chances are you're going to run into this stick. And again, if you hit the stick, that's what's going to happen. No big deal. You might have to configure things again and realign it. But that's really going to help you understand how to take your golf club, swing it in the circular nature intended and in the direction to the golf ball without crossing the target line, which brings in the hosel into play. So this is Martin Chuck signing off from the Tour Striker Golf Academy. To learn more about the Tour Striker Golf Academy, visit TourStrikerGolfAcademy.com. Come on down see me. We'll have a great time getting better together at golf.